All right, the Delta variant has led to more people being reinfected with COVID-19 over the past few months. But those who caught COVID for a second time make up less than 1% of all positive cases in the statewide during the pandemic. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue joins us live from a testing site to break down the latest reinfection numbers. Lillian. Well, over the past year and a half, chances are you've had to take one of these COVID-19 tests. But since the pandemic began, nearly 11 thousand people have been reinfected. That means that this test came back twice, separate infections with COVID-19 more than 90 days apart. I think people don't completely realize that you can catch COVID more than once. How are you doing? Starting this summer, the Delta variant led to a rise in reinfections of COVID-19. Since the pandemic began in our area, 10,812 people caught COVID twice. And out of that, 200 of those people were vaccinated or just under 2%. It shows you that the vast majority of these reinfections are occurring in unvaccinated people. A UNC infectious disease professor said the numbers show how vaccinations boost protection against getting sick again, even for those who've already recovered from the virus. It also kind of pulls the rug out of this argument that natural immunity is going to be as protective as I think people want it to be. And to break those reinfection numbers down further, the largest group of people getting reinfected are between 25 and 49 years old. And women outpace men for reinfections 61 to 39 percent. The state is also reporting 94 deaths among those COVID-19 reinfections. The UNC professor says studying reinfections can help doctors and public health officials better understand immunity or lack thereof over time. Let's see who gets reinfected. Let's see if those people, you know, are vaccinated or not. Um, and I think we're going to see more and more that vaccine protects people better than natural infection alone. And before now, the state health department was not including those reinfection numbers in their case counts. But starting yesterday, they will start putting those numbers in their daily totals. Reporting live in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News.